Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. This is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. Living Streams, we meet behind the trade fair, behind Zenith College, on Sundays in the mornings, and then on Wednesdays in the evening for our midweek service. Now, this morning, I'd like to capture my thoughts by just a statement, honor for profit. All over the world, we know people chasing blessings, and I've seen all sorts of crazy things in an attempt to get a blessing. I've seen people do all sorts of things, all sorts of spiritual gymnastics and, and uh, uh, all the things that comes with it to, just for blessing. But you know, I've come to see, uh, looking at life very, very carefully, there are simple things that sometimes you do and those things attract a blessing without you even knowing it and it is just there. There are simple principles you walk by and those principles turn out into profit for you without you having to pray without you having to fast, without nobody having to lay hands on you or lay legs on you or uh, pour oil on you. Now, there are things that automatically brings a blessing. I was reading uh, Exodus uh, 20, 12, and something just struck me, and I said, wow, it's so simple, it's out there. And guess what is it? Honor thy father and thy mother that it may be well with you and that your days may be long. Simple. The honor of your dad, the honor of your mom brings wellness and brings longevity. So, you know, the, the, the key for it being well with you and the key for longevity of life is, is honor. Pure and simple. Is it? Honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you, that your days may be long. So here's the point. People need to understand, the first God you saw, the first picture of God you saw was not God in heaven. The first prayer you uttered when you landed here on this earth was not to heaven. The first God you saw when you landed here on this earth was your mom and your dad as providers, as protectors, and as people who were pointing you towards a good future. Your provider, your uh, protector, and the people pointing you towards a good future. That was your dad and your mom. So the picture of God that you had was your dad and your mom. And therefore, it is always important as parents, we need to portray a good picture of God for our, our children. Because the first picture they have is God. Of God is us. They see us as protectors. When, uh, as a baby, when you cried, you didn't say, you never seen a baby saying, um, Hail Mary, so our Father, which art in heaven. And you, you never see a baby do it. Your first cry was for the breast milk of your mother. And when you're growing up, your dad, you need this, and he's going to provide. So the first part of call in the picture of God you have is, is your parent. And that is why sometimes fatherless people or people who are absent fathers and all those other things create a very dumbing picture of God, and sometimes people cannot understand the fatherhood of God because of absent parentage or absent fathers. It is very, very important. But you see, God said, for me using them to portray who I am, for me using them to show you a picture of me being a protector and me being um, a pointer towards your future and me being a provider for them, for me using them as pictures, when I borrow a boat, I like to fill it to the great drought of fish. So your responsibility towards your parents is honor. And said, so when you do so, it will be well with you. Growing up, especially during the revolution days, um, I saw something. I, I, I knew a young boy who, in, in, in his early days, you know, he was a rogue and a rascal. And one time I saw him picking up a cane. Uh, breaking a, a branch of a nim tree and giving his mother a good caning. He was caning his mother and his mother was screaming. 
and the mother was screaming and screaming and the mother kept uh, 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 loading curses on him and said, you, you will suffer. You will, you, and, I mean, she did it the typical gun woman way. Now, in the, that is proud to the revolution, many years before the revolution. In the days of the revolution, when the PNDC was in power, you know, he was caught in the crossfire. Not caught, he was caught breaking a rule. Soldiers gave him a beating. That till to, I mean, he never became the same again. He was physically deformed as a result of that beating. And it didn't, it didn't take too long, he died. But just when I met him, just before he died, that was when something struck me. Uh, this guy had changed. He was a young man, but he had become an old man. And because of the kind of things he went through. I'm not, I'm not saying what was done to him was right. But you know one thing? I just sat down and I remembered him caning his mom with, uh, with a branch of a neem tree. And I just shook my head. Honor your father and your mother that it may be well with you and that your days may be long. So you know what? I always tell people, you dishonor your parents, you dishonor them. Your mother looks at you and says, hmm, five years of your life is gone. If she says, hmm, hmm, ten years. If she says, hmm, you have expired. And sometimes, sometimes the challenges that we meet, or sometimes the, the warfare that we have, it's not because of anything, it's because we dishonored our parents. It's because we dishonored those who brought us here on this earth. And that's the reason why some of us are going through certain challenges. Not because of anything, but because of the honor. That it may be well with you. So your wellness is not a prayer topic. Your wellness is not fasting. Your wellness is not binding and losing. And that your, the longevity of days is not prayer and fasting. Longevity of days is not a binding and losing. Longevity of days and wellness is just a simple principle of giving honor to your parents. That's just the picture. That's what God looks at. So you want to profit? Give honor. You want to be well? Give honor. There are some of us who need to look for our mothers. There are some of us who look, need to look for our fathers and say to them and give them honor and say to them, we appreciate you. She went through the, 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 the bloody sins of the, of the labor ward. She went through the pain and the pangs of giving birth. Or he went through the sweat and the tears and the toil daily to put bread on your table. Don't you think it is time we honor them? And some of us wait when they are gone before you want to show them honor. Your wellness and longevity of days is dependent upon the honor of your parents. So, honor for profit. See you later.